Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here for another episode of Transport Fever 2 in the Bristol series. And we're overlooking one of the changes I'm about to make. Well, I've halfway made already, to be honest. And that is to upgrade some of my oldest vehicles in the fleet, which I tend to do sort of off camera before each episode. Oh, look, road congestion. Um, but I thought there's a couple of interesting ones here, which I thought I'd just sort of mention while we're getting into the episode. And that's this line here, the down end freight bulk line, which basically just takes all the freight that collects here at our little uh, North Bristol hub, the Roscoe Rail Freight North hub, which as you can see has a bit of an issue with congestion. And that's a clue as to what we're doing today. Yeah, just in case you were interested. Anyway, so, yeah, so an attempt to deal with this congestion and to bring more goods more quickly into down end which is uh, uh i always get these stations mixed up sort of several mix of station passenger and freight stations here so this is they're coming in here you see which connects into a rather large local road delivery uh station here uh, are any of those actually making money i haven't even checked that uh no oh yes yeah yeah that's okay and almost um, they're quite small vehicles, but maybe what they need is for more goods to be delivered more promptly here into Down End. And oh yeah, there are yes, <laughs> yeah they're coming from Roscoe, uh, the Rail Freight North Hub. The, uh, Down End here is a link between the dockside Avonmouth uh, and the the Rail Freight Hub we saw here, which serves other places as well, Yate and we're, and indeed. Um, the Midlands towns of Cam and Stroud and all the way up there as we've seen a few episodes ago. Anyway, what I, I've done here is I am replacing these lovely old trains. Uh, where is it? Um, where, where is... Tra oh, you're underground still. Of course you are. Yes, you're coming out here. Which is uh, a 56, is it? A 56 and some old naffy sort of multi-purpose wagons. I'm replacing it with a proper and somewhat more modern. Uh, what vehicle are you? A 58? Have I remembered that right? Or a 58? Yeah. And proper containers, which have significantly more capacity. 224 as opposed to uh, 112. So what I'm actually waiting to do is for this train here to pull into the station, deposit its load, and then I'll sell it. Because I don't think we'll need two trains seeing as this one carries more and actually goes a bit faster. I think it's an 80 mile an hour maximum as opposed to 75. I mean, lovely old workhorses though these are. Yeah, they're, they're getting a bit old. 20 odd years old it was. Uh, where was it? Yeah, 22. So we'll wait for it to uh, make money for us and I'll sell it and then we'll crack on into the rest of the episode. There it goes, pulling in and a mere 1.4 million. That's lovely. So I will sell you. Done. And you're full of stuff coming back to Down End. That is excellent. What else do we have waiting in Down End? Yeah, just another mix of stuff and more stuff to go back to the dockside on this train. Uh, you're <laughs> 16 million, nearly 17 million in profit for that line. So what are we doing today? Oh, before we get into that, actually. A quick update on where we were in the last episode. We were building this goods industry chain uh, route here. We've got uh, coal and ore going into our steel plant. We've got oil into refinery, into chemical plant producing plastic. That then comes down with the steel from here into our goods factory, which produces stuff for delivery from this uh, major road distribution center here. And do we have any consumers yet? No. Okay. Uh, actually, how long has this been running? This uh, this route. Uh, can I get one of those lorries? You're a lorry, aren't you? You've been running for eight months. Yeah, it's, I think the, the thing is it's taken time for everything to get into place. Do we have any steel here yet? We have got steel. We're waiting for the plastic to come down. I still think I need to do some balancing of the lines here in terms of speed and capacity. Oh, we're getting some plastic down as a start, isn't it? 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll need to do some rebalancing of, of those lines, I think, to, to make them all as profitable as can be. But I'll watch that. We'll may come back to that in a later episode. Another thing I did here, because you know how you look at one thing and you, and you sort of focus on that and say, right, that's what I'm doing. So I saw here that Nailsy has a good demand for goods. Uh, Backwell has recently started demanding goods, but it's a very minor demand. So we're not shipping goods into Backwell. We do have a, a truck route, these trucks here, delivering into Nailsy. And I'm sure they will start making profit at some point. What I'd fail to notice is that right outside this Congressbury goods factory, here in the little town of Yatton, we do actually want goods as well. <laughs> And a fair number of them. So I have put in a new freight route using some lovely new modded vehicles. Have they turned up yet? Uh, no. Oh, yes, you have. There you are. Little UPS delivery trucks. Yeah, they're very fast. They don't carry a great many. But for the time being, they will do quite nicely for getting goods, <laughs> should any goods turn up here, into the town of Yatton. Okay, so that's where we are with that, and we'll probably come back and just tinker with that a little bit as time goes on. Well, let's pause this for a moment and look at what we're going to do today. We're going to look at capacity, congestion, not of our roads as we often do, but of our stations. We do have this lovely station statistics panel here. Let's make it a bit bigger. As you can see, I've got quite a few stations which are showing very poor in terms of overload. They are seriously overloaded. Like Albany Street here in Newport. Yeah, that's there's too many people there. Can I can I deal with that? Uh, that station loop. We've got loads of buses on there. But again the trouble with are you on you're on the line as well. Yeah. How how big a route is that? Oh it's yeah it's, that's the trouble it's quite big and complicated. So, and it goes back on itself as well. So maybe another bus on there? Have we ever made money? No. How expensive are those buses? Uh, so if I were to... I'll oh, just clone another one. There we go. So that's you here. Coming out of the depot. And you cost... Uh, what's your value? Half a million. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they will start making money at some point. But the important thing with those, of course, is they get passengers from the distant parts of the town into profitable routes, like our ferry. Is our ferry making money? Ooh, a five million. Uh, except your cargo. It's the port or the ferry line. Ooh, one and a half million. That's not too bad, actually, for a three little hovercraft. Yeah, you're doing very well. Good, I'm happy with that. Anyway, that's by the by. So we're looking at congestion in our station. And I've identified a few that could do with fixing. And we're going to start with Burnham Oil Handling Station here. Now, you may remember several episodes ago, I replaced the train delivery of oil from these oil wells uh, and into the refinery and then to the fuel refinery here by trucks because we do now have fast and large trucks to do this for us. There are no, yeah, there are no trains running here. I could return it to train, I suppose, but I quite like having trucks here. So one thing we could do, actually, we could make this a little bit larger by putting in can I put in more of these pipes put down the appropriate your tanker platform yeah you're right you're correct for that so if I put you in there and I dare say we are still overloaded mm, again because it's a modded station I don't think it supports the addition of buildings actually if I do that to extend the capacity of the of the stations if I put in one of these little buildings here can I put you anywhere anywhere um, I'd like to put it there to be honest actually if I can I get rid of that I can get rid of you okay 
Can I put you in there? No, you're just too close to to the industry there. So if I put you here, now that says it should give me an extra 25%, 25 unit capacity. So if I put you in there, do you actually do that? Oh, you do! Excellent! Which one is it that's uh, overflowing? The Wells Oil Refinery link, which is this one here. So these are the vehicles we've got on here. And you carry 30 at a speed of 62, which is fine because that's the speed of the road along here. Just another one of these. Will that do? Or should I replace them entirely? Let's have a look. Is there a, a suitable replacement? So I'm looking for cargo and we're carrying sort of fuels, crude oil. Yeah. And the ones we've got are you. So you are 30. If I change this to capac uh, capacity, there you go. Oh, you take 52. You go a bit slower, though. And you take 42. You're, you're slower. <laughs> you go faster. You carry a little bit more, actually. My, I could do these. Um, the, the question, of course, is that the road isn't that fast. So should I go for a fast truck, which won't be able to get, get up to speed anyway? So it's, and it's only a couple of units larger, whereas these larger ones have more capacity. They go a bit slower, but I have a feeling that won't be an issue. Uh, let's, let's use a, a branded one. Which one should we use? Uh, total? Was it, it's, it's often pronounced total, I think, isn't it? I may be wrong, but I'm going to say total because that's what how I've always pronounced it. So we'll actually replace all of you. Uh, there you go. So you'll carry considerably more from here. Now, do we have any that are coming into the space? We do. Oh, you're bringing some fuel back. That's good. And you will then take out, hopefully, enough refined oil to take this down below overload capacity. Not quite. Oh, you are oh, getting. You are taking a lot. Forty-two is a lot, isn't it? So it's possible because there's another one coming in. That you guys might do it. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's good. And our next overcapacity station uh, was... The trip is, they've all changed since I first looked at it before I, before I started the recording. Because <laughs> it's all so dynamic, isn't it? Now, the other one I was looking at was at Ebley. So what we've got here in Ebley is we have got the Stonehouse Stroud route, which just connects these three relatively small towns up here at the north end of my map and connects them so that they go to Stonehouse where they connect to the high-speed Midland to Wales or the Midlands and Welsh Express service. Uh, so there's very few people on the way back generally speaking. But I'm wondering, how big are you trains? You're, you're carrying 93. You are quite substantial. I don't, the thing is, I don't think it warrants three trains on there. Or does it? What if we put three slightly smaller trains on there? Would that work? I mean, so there's very few people coming from Stroud. It's Stroud, isn't it? You always get the order of these places mixed up. Uh, Ebley. Again, there's very few people going in the other direction. They all want to come out here into Stonehouse. And then not that many people come back. To... Yeah, I'm thinking, okay, if we replace these then with smaller trains, that's what we will do. Three smaller trains going a bit faster. So, how fast do you go? 75. Alright. So, what have we got here? Could I electrify this line? Are the electric multiple units faster? Uh, so, 
Ooh, Metro, you're a tray. Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's sort them in the other direction. Nope, that direction. Okay, you don't want a high speed exp express start. Oh, you, you do go fast. And you carry a lot. Oh, maybe that's the answer. Electrification, larger and faster. Oh, yes, this might work. Now, do I have a first or GWR option here? Uh, no, not, not <laughs> by the look of it. Uh, you're a kind of GWR or a first sort of colour, aren't you? Uh, Southwest, no. Silver Link, no. You're all quite fast. Uh, your 90 will be plenty fast enough, I think, actually. So, first off then, let's electrify the line. Uh, yeah, electrification. Uh, starting from, let's do the... There, to there. Okay, I think that's all done for that line. Actually, might as well do the rest of this line out to cam. So we might actually electrify the line into Wales. So I know that uh, the lines out of Bristol Park, well Bristol Parkway is electrified and Parkway, I have services from Parkway into Wales and so on. Temple Mead in reality isn't for reasons. <laughs> I'll, I'll not go through, through that again because I'll just get angry. Uh, if, oh well because yeah Temple Mead is my local Bristol station. Okay, that will do for now. So we can put electric trains on this route. The All the rails are high speed already. So we'll take that. And which one were we looking at? Uh, we could take you. 100, 95 people, so it's a couple more capacity. Um, which needs to be the five car one. And how we don't know how long you are yet so, but if i add you 106 meters oh you you should fit in to these these stations quite nicely let's do that and they're there and where is this train sounding good you're southeastern Oh, well, never mind. Nobody will notice. Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> We've changed branding entirely. Okay, so that was that line. Another line I was looking at was a cargo line, and that was to do with the forests and stuff up here. Now, I haven't looked at this chain for quite a while. So this is taking logs out of our forests here into our sawmill, into our machine manufacturing plant here to send machines down to our hub down here for onward distribution to all sorts of exciting places and we're doing okay here but I mean we've still got plenty of room to improve and grow this factory we're not at capacity by any stretch yet now what about our sawmill that's doing quite well we've got a lot of capacity there though so we could expand that and where are you getting your logs from? Bowbridge. Ah, you're getting them from two forests. Yeah, I thought you were. So from here, you're doing okay by the look of it. Yeah, your capacity is fine. It's this forest over here, Ebley Forest, which isn't doing so well. Yeah, we need... I think probably just another wagon on here, don't we? So if we go over here, we'll manage the vehicles. So what have we got? So you are a 40 ton truck with side stakes, no less. So you're carrying logs. So that'll be you. You're carrying 30. You're absolutely right, it is. We could carry a few more using the man. You, again, I imagine you go a bit slower, yet you do. But I'm wondering 
if speed is going to be an issue here because again the roads around here are all going to be 60 mile an hour country roads i don't have any high speed highways or motorways as such so i think i think we'll go with the man to be honest yep and where are you mr vehicle excellent so with any luck, they will start clearing out that overload more quickly. Oh, they are well overloaded, aren't they? Let's let's add another. Let's put you on there. And you're overloading a bit still, but I think. Will this wagon take most of that away? Indeed it does. Just about. <laughs> okay, let's put one of those uh, buildings on there. Give us another 25. Where can we put you? Well, yeah, I think close to the industry. That works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's only a little bit, but as the tracks, as these trucks roll on, they should deal with that, with that capacity issue before too long. It's a pity you can't do the speed check on roads. It'd be nice to know how fast these roads are, to be honest. But there you go. Okay, so that's one of those. Now. This is, this is a big one. This is a big one. Canesham. It's, it's a modest little town in reality. And it's a modest little town here, to be honest. Uh, it's only 556 uh, residents. But the passenger station here is overflowing with people wanting to go into Bristol. And or back to Bath and Chippenham and so on. Uh, you've got these rather large... Now let's get one that's not going into a tunnel or a, or in a tunnel. Right, you. Yes. So we've got you. Uh, let's get rid of the line for a second so we can see it without the colour getting in the way. These very long 176 capacity trains, which are wonderful. I mean, they are. I think that's a proper length for that sort of capacity. But I'm thinking perhaps it's time to, to concede defeat and put in a slightly more densely packed... Uh, passenger wagon here because you can see the, the seats spare in there so what choices do we have for replacement vehicle for these trains again without electrifying it because this this line between bath and bristol and indeed chippenham i think I don't, i'm not sure whether i think the electrification stops at swindon i might be wrong 459 oh my goodness fictional formation okay three, oh my goodness but how long are you 160 you see that's that's a lot shorter but it's such a big capacity though isn't it uh, uh, none of them are in appropriate <laughs> branding for uh, for this for, for the Bristol region uh, you're okay what about you? What sort of size are you? Okay, what are you? Oh, you're a 125 capacity though. That's not so good. I, let's, let's try these, I think. So this, what is this? This is the uh, Voyager 220 on a generic under tray whatever that means okay replacing it for 63 million pounds and capacity has gone up by uh, about a hundred basically which will hopefully work the, the things they are so much shorter now I don't need the long platforms make a lovely noise as you can see <laughs> passengers are crammed in 
those were the days of train travel where everywhere was overbooked. All right, we'll see how that works. Now, the next one on my list is, well, we're going to Chippenham. Yeah, so Chippenham. We've got uh, three routes coming out of here. Uh, not so much on the Bath main line, but a lot of people go and want to go to Parkway. And indeed there to the local route to Trowbri Trowbridge, Trowbridge, Westbury, Warminster and Froome. Uh, not many people coming back the other direction, to be honest, but there is a fair demand on part of this route. Yeah, we've got these, actually they're fairly large capacity trains, aren't they? 77. So there's three of them. And what speed do they do? 89, apparently. So I'm wondering if by adding another of these trains to that line would work. Alternatively, what I was thinking of doing was splitting the line up, say, from Chippenham to Westbury, and then have a separate, much smaller local service between Froome and Westbury. Just a couple of small little trains. Not sure. What I'll do though, I'll, I'll take the easy way out for the time being. We will simply uh, take this train here and duplicate it and add just another train onto that route. Well, the question then is where the heck are you coming from? Oh good, yes, I had the foresight to put some depots here in Warminster. Splendid, <laughs> you can get, you should be able to get onto that line. Well, you're coming out that way, ah! Yeah, that's okay. Yes, you can get onto that line. Oh, splendid, splendid. I was worried there if it was coming out on this uh, this line here, but it's not. That's good. All right, so that should be fine. And the other one we have here is uh, Bristol Parkway to Chippenham, which was our first fast electric route, if I cor if I remember correctly. Uh, doing very good business, and and all the trains are full. So we've got 356 waiting at Chippenham. Yeah, the trains are fairly modest capacity. So what's it like at the other end of this line in Parkway? Not so many, 195. So if we got 190, 200 thereabouts capacity on these trains, we should be laughing, I reckon. Okay, uh, actually I want that train still there. So, you're 98, what speed do you do? 110, okay, and what train are you? You're a 381, so let's manage these vehicles. Uh, again, this is electric. 381, there you are. Okay, and you're pretty much the same, you are the same, you're just different livery. Okay, what about a 390? 195? Oh, yeah, you could, you, we could replace you with another Virgin train. Well, that's very easy, isn't it? All the intercity. Is that a fictional livery? Uh, what does that look like? Holy moly, 281 metres. Um, no, I, I don't think that will fit into our stations. How long are our st how long is Parkway? Parkway is not going to be that long. I'm fairly certain. So where does that? Oh, you're coming in on here. So that's a fairly short platform anyway. So how long are you? So you're 112, and we've got yeah about 80. So yeah, 200 metres perhaps is the length there. Okay, I don't want to go beyond that. I'm not sure I can go. I could actually. Could I extend this platform here a little bit? Let's just see what would happen. Can I delete that and that? Okay, can I then configure this to add in... Uh, I need platforms. Uh, platforms. And we'll just put in a vanilla passenger platform. 
Is that a vanilla passenger platform? No, it says I can't put it in there. I could put it there. Or not, as the case may be. Anyway, so that's, that's 40, isn't it? So that's 40, 80, 120, yeah, 200, pretty much. So that's not going to work for me. That sort of length, nope. We need to think again. So what have we got here? You take a capacity of 226, okay. Ooh, a first great western set. 249. I'd rather you weren't that long. What about you? A short set carries 176. Okay, you're larger in capacity, certainly. 423. No, that, that is very large. We're not doing that. Uh, the short set. 259. No. No. Park, they shouldn't extend beyond the level of the Parkway station. I could rebuild Parkway, of course. That's an alternative. Or have we got a diesel train, which will do it. It's a pity giving up on electric. When you go faster, you're a higher capacity. We've got uh, your cross country. We could do you. Okay, we're going to put one of these in then. Good. They are short, but uh, they carry nearly twice. Is that twice as many people? It probably is, isn't it? If my maths is correct. I didn't want to do that. Let's go there. So, what do you look like? Splendid. You'll do nicely. Well, there are some spare seats by the look of it. Yeah, not many. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that is that route. And finally for this episode, it is one of our oldest electrical routes, I think, which was coming out of Bedminster. Now, where the heck is Bedminster? Emerson's Green with the other side of Bristol. Here we are. Bedminster. Okay, and there are quite a few services here. Oh, the... Mm, this express service, the Bristol Western. I'll replace that later. I think we'll leave that one in place for the time being. But the one I wanted to look at was this one. These are quite old trains. And you are going from Bedminster through the city of Bristol, Clifton Down, up to Bristol Parkway. Your alternate route, basically. Uh, so some trains will come in from the southwest from from Western from Nailsey uh, into Bedminster to Bristol Temple Meads and then work their way up by a service to Parkway or they could stop off at Bedminster and take this route uh, into into Parkway which as you can see is very well subscribed so it's a full capacity uh, but the trains we've got here are getting on a little bit What speed can they do? Well, they can do 100. They're a capacity 80. Let's just have a quick look at one, shall we? That's you. What are you? You're a 321. So what can we replace you with? We're back on electrics. And your your capacity capacity was on each was 80 so I think we could do with eight. your 72 your 168 mmm 84 you would be bigger and you're that bit faster as well aren't you no you're not <laughs> uh, you're, you don't have capacity Ooh, you guys do. Ah, you're the ones we put on the other route, weren't you, I think? Up here, up in the Midlands. So the four... Yeah, it would need to be a five-car service, I think. Yeah, 95. I think that will work. Now that is you. Okay, and we'll place you for 45 million. Gosh. So where's that train? 
And where are you going? You're going off to Bristol Parkway. Have we got one going into... Oh, that is Parkway. So where's Bedminster? I want to see one going into Bedminster. Which I've lost again. <sighs> Bristol's too big and too complicated. There's Bedminster. Where's Bedminster Station? Okay, so you'll be pulling into this platform here, the Bay Platform. Do we have a train anywhere? Oh, it's an, yeah, it's an annoying thing. Notice a bit of standard speed track. Can I, I'll try upgrading it again, but I don't... Okay, let me do it now. <laughs> I, wonder what I wonder what I was doing before, where it gave me bridge collision errors and stuff. So it wouldn't actually allow me to upgrade it. Oh, that's fine. So it's all high speed now. That's cool. Uh, so you're going to Clifton Down. We'll watch you, shall we? Come into this station. Very nice. Lovely sound work as well. Excellent. I think Clifton Down. Yeah, Clifton Down is another one which ha has a capacity issue. Which hopefully these trains will help relieve. I just love the modelling. The things that... Uh... Oh, it's got transport fever as the... <laughs> as the uh, as the digital display. Transport fever. Southeastern. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> no matter. No matter. It's all one country something like that other vague excuse I've got so that's it thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2 here around Bristol I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little update to our routes and hopefully that will deal with some of the congestion we've been having yeah I think it is Canesham I'm sure that will get dealt with in due course despite the fact that <laughs> numbers are still going up Burnham still is an issue. Maybe we do need more of those lorries on there. Or maybe not. I think it might, might be alright. We shall see. I'll deal with some of that perhaps off camera as well. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you've enjoyed this... Oh, hang on. I've got a, an error message here. What's that? Train 5. Um, it is all electrified. What are you talking about, man? Uh, I don't, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, so there you are. Yes, thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. You know, just click on the old thumbs up button. That would be awesome. Even better though, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game, any suggestions for trains or improvements that I can make to, to what I'm doing here, or anything you feel like saying about the game at all, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be amazing. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But in the meantime, from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now.